Well, thanks, Shaka. The seventh annual Global Entrepreneurship Summit is back in the United States after stops in Turkey, the United Arab Emirates, Malaysia, Morocco, and last year in Kenya. U.S. President Barack Obama is hosting the event in Silicon Valley, and the aim is to showcase entrepreneurs and investors from here and around the world, creating new opportunities for investment, partnership, and highlight entrepreneurship as a means to address some of the most intractable global challenges. Well, this leads us to our question of the week, which asks, entrepreneurship is driving innovation across Africa, and how much of an impact do you think that African entrepreneurs are having on the continent? Well, before we begin, uh, I'd like to thank you all for using uh, our social media platform to communicate to us Another reminder that we are tweeting live today. Just use the hashtag VOA African Entrepreneurs. And if you haven't yet, uh, do follow us. Uh, speaking of Twitter, let's go to a tweet uh, from Martin uh, Nyalusi in Tanzania, who tweets that they face capital problems, good markets, and good policies from the government, which will reflect on them. Well, now we'll turn to a Facebook comment uh, from one of our Facebook uh, followers. Uh, this time it's Martin uh, Maniel Wugal uh, from Uganda who writes that in Uganda, many African entrepreneurs have no support either materially or anyone with encouraging advice on how to improve their business. Well, these are uh, great questions out there. Um, Shaq and Guess, your take. Very interesting, uh, Mr. Bello. Yes. Your reaction. Well, um, the question, you know, really, really, uh, you know, says it all in terms of the amount of impact uh, that um, that African entrepreneurs have been able to, you know, give to the continent. Um, definitely, you know, of course, it's been able to create jobs, you know, for, uh, you know, Africans. Um, you know, but there's something that actually uh, stands out for me more is the hope that they bring. You know, because, I mean, we talk about, you know, different things that, are, you know, we struggle with, uh, you know, electricity, uh, you know, not uh, good enough water, uh, you know, and also in terms of like, you know, not being able to get enough support, you know, from the government, you know, but with all this, you know, young entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. uh, they've been able to bring hope, you know, to a, a, a local, a local uh, trader, uh, you know, that is selling a product. You know, but with, you know, with the help of uh, online e-commerce uh, platform, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, Jumi and Conga.com, uh, NG, uh, they've been able to, you know, open that market, you know, for, for this local, local people. Mm -hmm. So with, they, with them having that, it brings hope that, oh, you know what, my product can actually get to someone across the continent. You know, so I, I really feel like, you know, hope, you know, is definitely something that, you know, that stands out also apart from, you know, job creation. I see. Mariema, do you have uh, more reaction from the audience, please? Yes, uh, we'll go to uh, a Facebook comment from Yahya Ahmed Gumel uh, from Nigeria, who writes uh, that the contribution of African entrepreneurs in the area of job creation and economic growth are enormous, uh, absolutely echoing what uh, Kunle just said. But however, he continues, um, he says that a lack of sufficient government intervention mm -hmm. And support is becoming a major, a major stumbling block undermining African entrepreneurship. It is imperative that African governments prioritize and inject huge amounts of capital into entrepreneurship because it's vital to economic growth and development. Great points uh, made by Yahya, Guest, and Shaka again, uh, your take. Paul, your reaction? Uh, I could not agree with uh, Yahya yeah, yeah, um, more uh, because uh, I think the governments uh, have the moral responsibility really to uh, to build an enabling environment uh, for entrepreneurship to thrive, for these young innovators uh, to uh, put out ideas that are going to uh, be sold on the global market. Uh, what's happening is that, uh, uh, of, of course, governments are also trying to be wary of what the social media or what the internet can do. Uh, in some cases, uh, governments are highly restrictive when it comes to how people use the social media. And I think, personally, I think that's uh, going to uh, impede the development of uh, entrepreneurship on the continent. I think uh, this is a platform that 
allows people really to express themselves. This is a platform that allows people to tap into other people's ideas. And I think that uh, what is important, what needs to happen is governments figuring out a way of coming to table with these uh, entrepreneurs, anybody who wants to do, come up with a solution and sit down on the table and have a, a conversation. Very interesting. Uh, well, thank you very much, Mariema, for bringing us this week's audience reaction. Well, uh, thanks, Shaka, and that will do it uh, for today's uh, social media segment.